Hello there, everybody. What Culture Wrestling's Adam Cleary here. And with a little over two weeks to go until AEW's second show, Double or Nothing, they have unveiled a brand new, exciting, albeit very familiar match type that's going to be one of the centerpieces of that show. Despite the fact they still haven't actually crowned an inaugural AEW champion, they have revealed a match to determine who the first person to face that person, whoever that person ends up being, is a 21-man over-the-top rope elimination match with the winner gifted a number one contender spot. Sorry, what's that? It sounds a lot like a Royal Rumble. Well, that's because it is a lot like a Royal Rumble. And just like the Royal Rumble, it looks like becoming an important part of the fledgling company's event calendar going forward. I think they're going to do this every year. Loads and loads of men enter the match. They all try and throw each other over the top rope. And the winner gets to challenge the champion somewhere down the line. Now, yes, while I that does all sound exactly like something we've had before, where the Casino Royale differs from the Royal Rumble match is in its execution. It is actually quite cool. Speaking on this week's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained it thusly. The rules are that everyone draws cards from a deck. The first five wrestlers who draw clubs, spades, diamonds, or hearts are put together in a group. One of those groups of five will start the match. At the three minute mark, another suit group of five will enter. At the six minute mark, a third group of five will enter and the remaining group of five will enter at the nine minute mark. But this is a 21 man battle royal and the final entrant, the person who draws the Joker card, will enter by himself at the 12 minute mark. Eliminations are then all for throwing someone over the top rope. Now the names already confirmed for this match are quite impressive. They're Jimmy Havoc, Billy Gunn, MJF, Michael Nakazawa, Jungle Boy, Glacier, Sonny Kiss, Joey Janela, Ace Romero, Brandon Cutler, Sunny Days, Brian Pillman Jr. and Dustin Thomas, who you may remember got a load of headlines over WrestleMania weekend for his matches at the Joey Janela shows, despite the fact he is a double leg amputee. That is quite impressive. Yes, and I know Trent Beretta and Chucky T have already been confirmed for this match as well, but that looks like it's just leading to them having a singles match instead, I think, maybe. Should uh, say at this point, we're not expecting the Casino Royale match to headline this show. That honour is probably going to go to Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho, but elsewhere on the card, holy goddamn hell, where do you fit it in? You've got the Young Bucks defending the AAA tag team titles against Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix. Hangman Page is taking on Pac. Cody faces his brother, Dustin Rhodes, and there's a triple threat match between Dr. Britt Baker, Nyla Rose, and Kylie Ray. And uh, just in case you've forgotten, the event is taking place in Las Vegas on May 25th, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Now, I've been there, albeit not for wrestling, and it's bloody lovely. That's, of course, not the only big AEW news that's doing the rounds this week. And on the off chance you missed it earlier on, they have also unveiled a broadcast partner for their international product, and it's ITV right here in the UK. But there was, at the time, one detail about that which wasn't reported, which we now know. Tony Khan, who owns the promotion, as well as Fulham in the Premier League in this country, that's still really weird, said this at the time. Since our launch in January, we've signed the best talent, sold out our debut show in record time, and we've built relationships and formed bonds with the best media partners like ITV. This collaboration with ITV is so important to AEW. ITV is the best in the UK. They were always my first choice to be our international pay-per-view partner, for Double or Nothing, and we're looking forward to a great show. Best in the UK is maybe pushing it ever so slightly, even if I do really, really, really secretly like Love Island. But one important part about this is that ITV are going to be doing it and producing it under their sports department, not their entertainment department. Now, if you cast your minds back when Fox signed with WWE, they announced their intention to do that under their sports department, not their entertainment department. So we're expecting wholesale changes in the way that product is presented. Even ITV themselves, when they launched World of Sport, their own wrestling show, did it under entertainment and not under sport. So this shows they are taking it really, really, really seriously. Quite how this is going to relate to Double or Nothing itself will have to remain to be seen. But in the meantime, these are two very, very significant developments. They're going to have a number one contenders match, very similar to the Royal Rumble, which we think is going to become a core part of their schedule. And also, it's going to be being produced as sport not as entertainment. I am very excited for this. I don't, know how, I don't know how you all feel about it, but I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments below. And of course, you won't forget, will you, to like, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I have been Adam Cleary, all eclite wrestling. Doesn't really work that. And I'll see you soon. Yes, I will. Bye. Ta-ta.